Okay, guys, this can be bad for Shiba Inu, but it can also be good. So I'll give you guys two levels, level on the downside and a level on the upside. If one of those levels break, it'll tell me a little bit more of where Shiba Inu wants to go. Because if you can tell, let me just move these real quick. Actually, let me type out the ticker symbol also for you guys. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get this channel over 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it. So SHB, SHIB. USD, that's what we're talking about right now, ship it in you. Let's go ahead and take that off. This is very important for investors right now, okay? Again, not financial advice. I'm just letting you guys know what levels I'm looking at, how I'm looking to play stuff. Now, notice how I marked off this range right here, okay? We had a little dip below it, but look, as fast as it came down, let me see, right here. As fast as it came down out of this range, it's as fast as it came right back up, right? So we are in a trading sideways motion. Look how it's just staying in this type of range. Even though we start to see some nice run-ups here, it always comes back down, right? We see run-ups, it comes down, run-ups, it comes down. It stays in this range from about 4013 to about 4010, kind of in that area. Okay, so I think we need some more important levels to really know uh what side ship it in you on once ago. So we could be on the right direction because I am looking to trade it for like shorter term plays and stuff like that. But we just got to wait till these levels are actually active and we have to wait till we start to get some real movement in shipping you, right? Because other coins are actually moving like Ethereum's going crazy, I think, because they have that uh, merge coming up in September. So that's going crazy. But shipping you isn't really going too crazy. Make sure you guys watch the video that I have before this one on Dogecoin. OK, I got a video on Dogecoin. Make sure you go watch it. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get a channel over 10K subscribers. So for shipping you, I'm going to take this off. I'll take this off. And we'll put levels on here. Okay, so this is the hourly chart, by the way. I'll take that range off. Okay, so these are like more like major levels that I'm looking for and that I want to break. Okay, so the first one on the upside, I'm going to put right. Actually, I'll put it at the nice even number uh, 13. So let's turn that level red. And then downside, I'm going to put it right here. And this is a support. Okay, it can act as a buying pressure. But I'm looking at more of it as a support and a resistance because right now we need to know what direction Shiba Inu wants to go, okay? Because like I said, it's kind of been in that range, hasn't really been moving. So these are some very important levels. For a resistance area, it's about 0 0.0000 1300, okay? This is the area of resistance that I'm looking for right now on Shiba Inu. And then for the support, we have 10, no, 11. Okay, let me turn that blue. This is the main area on support that I'm looking on Shiba Inu. So between this range, I think it's a nice little range. Let me see. Yeah, it's about an 18% range. So I could even let it drop, maybe get a little lower and try to play the pattern of it going back up to these higher areas. And that's about an 18% gain. Not sure if I'm going to do that yet. I'd rather wait to see what real direction and where it wants to go. But right now, this is a support level four zeros eleven zero zero, and then resistance four zeros thirteen zero zero. Okay, so that's the main two things. I got a uh, sponsor coming up with TradingView. As you guys know, this is a platform that I use. I think I'll have that available for you guys tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But main levels I'm looking at for ship at you. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, smash the like button. Don't forget, make sure you go watch the Dogecoin video that I have earlier before this one. And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one.